Night one is now complete and it is clear skies with some very high cloud at the moment. Should be a good day. So this is a really strange feeling right now for a place that was packed yesterday for sunset and absolutely packed when the aurora was and absolutely packed when the aurora was happening I am the only one here and it's approximately it's approximately an hour till sunrise I would have thought it'd be busier than this it means I get the spot that I would like to shoot the most. <laughs> oh, where is everybody? Here comes our first contestant. Come on down. It really is a different feeling when you come to these places, you know they're photographed a lot, but for one, when you hear yourself to photograph it yourself, it's a completely different feeling. You feel energized and like you're doing things right, which sounds really weird. But I guess if you're where other people have been in the past, it sort of gives you that confidence, a bit of a confidence boost. And I know that sounds stupid and you know, photographing photographed locations is not real big on my priority list, but it's a difficult thing to explain. But to be here by myself while a sunrise is going to unfold very soon. I'm not going to be here by myself for sunrise, I know that, but to enjoy it now, it's just incredible. Absolutely incredible. Vlogging camera went for a tumble this morning. It's Andrew's fault. <laughs> Wire test, wire test. Two, three, two, check, check. Yeah. Boo! <laughs> <laughs> so that's it. We uh, finished at Kirkufell and Kirkufell Foss. I think uh, look at the size of this apple. It's Isn't it apple. beautiful? It's really flavoursome. Yeah, I think we're finished here. We had some all right, all right conditions yesterday. Better conditions this morning, but the aurora last night was last probably night. probably the best. So I guess yeah, we had an aurora last night. And we were sitting in the car and uh, watching a show and just all of a sudden this big green cloud came across the sky and it was from horizon to horizon. So Hayley and I rolled our mats out, rolled our sleeping bags out and watched it for about half an hour, 40 minutes. And then we decided to come back here and take some photos at Kirkufell. It was packed here last night. I would say it was busier than sunset. Parking wise. It was. Because yeah. everyone was on the road. Yeah, they were just everyone was just standing on the road, staring up at the mountain. You and come over this hill at 80 Ks and everyone's just on the road. Looking at you. Yeah, like I'm <laughs> like I'm the idiot. I'm the Finished up this morning, it's cold, all the water is frozen, everything is like uh, super super cold, but uh, now we're gonna head out and uh, work out what we're gonna do for the rest of the day. Coffee. Come up with a name for the car. Better than something better than Box. Something better than box. It's a box. Well, the heater doesn't really work. <laughs> it does, we're just really cold. English. 
diesel ready for use. Diesel. Diesel. It's working. Good job. Thank you. Come. Go, my brother. You breached the walls of the pantry. What have you done? <laughs> we didn't make it very far, we had to stop and get fuel and then we found a bakery that had a couple of pastries that we could eat. So now we're making a cup of, a cup of tea, taking some photos with some awesome mountains in the background. It's pretty cool. Camping itself, like laying down on hard surfaces with our mats was fine, it was a cold that got to us. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna change up. Our original budget was to stay in accommodation about four times in this two weeks, but we're probably gonna switch that up to every second or every third night now. It's gonna cost us a bit more, but it was just too cold. And the other thing is, because it's so expensive to have this car, or any car in general in Iceland for us, to add Haley as a second driver is just another cost that we didn't want to have to wear. So I'm going to be doing all the driving in, in Iceland. So if I have a bad night's sleep too many times in a row, it puts us at more risk. So that way, you know, I can get a rest every second night, every third night, and then we're good to go again. It's, it is what it is, really. We are here to experience the country, and there's no use doing it in an in a environment that's going to make us really uncomfortable and irritable. So right now we're heading from Kirkjafell up to the West Fjord, um, which is sort of like the top northwest uh, arm that comes out. And uh, there's some really cool places around there that we're gonna check out. We're gonna give it a go tonight of sleeping in the car, opposed to camping. But um, unfortunately we can't lay in the back, so one of us will probably sleep in the front, one of us will probably sleep on the back seats and see how we go. But right now we're just, enjoying our four hour drive, taking in the view. We could have got the ferry, but it was only 40 minutes quicker. And we're seeing a lot of different scenery on the way as well, so yeah. having a little lunch stop and we're cooking out the back of the car. We still haven't decided on a name for the car. I just called it Benson in my head. I was like, yeah. How about we just call it Benson 2? Benson the sequel, because sequels are never good. <laughs> Take that, Sharknado. <laughs> <laughs> but um, we're cooking out the back of the car and it started snowing. We're that far north and it's that cold that it's not gonna rain here. It's gonna snow instead. On the menu today, Chickpea satay with some noodles. Yummy! Well, I guess we're not going straight. So we just stopped back there to put some more diesel in Benson too, and a red four-wheel drive went past us. And I could see him and he stopped up there and now the, the way is shut, so yeah, that was lucky. It was lucky we didn't go further, he shut it and we tried to come back. Although I think it's designed so you can get around. You would have to, yeah. Yeah. Well, that changes that. Just really sucks that we came all the way out here for that. I mean, it's uh, about a four or five hour detour. 
Uh, plus there's some other things to see around here too, but yeah, that really sucks that we can't get to that waterfall. And when we checked it, we learned from Norway, we checked it this morning and that road was open, but now it is shut. And it says on the website that it's shut due to snow as well, so makes sense. It's been snowing. It's been snowing a lot. <laughs> it's like an inch thick ice on the road. This when we came through. <laughs> Covered, bro. Can I see my here? Snowing outside, Jack. <laughs> 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 no. <laughs> so that's pretty much it for today, guys. We uh, had a bit of a backtrack to get to well, to sort of get out of that West Fjord region because there were only a few things that we were there to see. And one of those in particular was a waterfall and a set of hot springs. And now those hot springs, when we got there, there was a few people around and it was raining. So we're just like, oh, we're, there's nothing for us in this area. And it's uh, a number of hours drive back out. So we decided to drive until uh, nighttime, which is sort of, on us now uh, and we're pulled up at this little rest stop area and tonight we have decided that we are going to try sleeping in the back of the car uh, rearrange everything i'm not 100 percent confident that there's enough room for everything but Haley's pretty confident on it so look today <sighs> When we, were, when we found out that the waterfall road was shut, we were feeling a little bit down and that you know it was a waste of a day and everything, but uh, if we didn't come out here today, then we wouldn't have seen those awesome valleys. We wouldn't have got some of those really cool drone shots. And, and even though the end goal was a waste, we always make sure we fill our days with things that if you get to a spot and it does turn out to be blocked, closed, whatever, crap, then the whole day wasn't a waste. And come on, can't forget Kirky Fell this morning. So that's it for tonight. Uh, I've got a photo that I wanna edit and uh, maybe do a little bit more YouTube stuff and then that's it. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Cheers.